Hi, good morning. I hope everybody's doing well. You know, in these uh, final hours, in these last days, it is so important that we not only operate in wisdom, but that we continuously go before the Lord. We continuously seek Jesus Christ. We continuously study His Word. You know, Christ tells us to come out of this world. We are actually not part of this world. But yet, there are many Christ followers who are fully indulged, fully embracing, and fully part of the world in which we see around us. And again, Christ says, come out of this world. Come out of, come out of her. <clears throat> you know, in these last days, right before the sound, the mighty sound of a trumpet, will you operate in not only wisdom, but also operate within the, the spirit of the Lord in which the Lord gave to those who are truly following Him, truly in love with Him, truly seeking and waiting upon Him, waiting for His return, waiting for our blessed hope. You know, when we, when we look around, let me see the, the continuous flood of lies uh, deceiving the world and also deceiving those who are called within the body of Christ. And yes, many within the body of Christ are deceived because I see it every day. Many who uh, many just jumped on the bandwagon, even though every sign was telling us that the things going on in the world is, is wrong, is a lie and that you're being deceived, you just accepted that deception. And I'm here to tell you that ignorance is not going to be an excuse. Again, I'm here to tell you, ignorance will be no excuse when you stand before our Lord. When we see that hour and day approaching, we must again operate fully within the the bounds of the Holy Scriptures, not adding to the Scripture, not accepting other doctrine, but fully embracing and fully understanding the true Scripture. You know, when you when you look around what's going on, it's been evident that... Um, well, let me just get right into it. So, I, I strongly suggest that uh, you either study in the Greek or you actually get a Greek translation um, Bible. It, it is, it's not only very liberating because many of the words uh, have been transposed and slightly changed throughout the uh, centuries. Even the mighty King James, you must understand that how the original writers penned the Word of God. We must again operate in wisdom. You must understand that things have been slightly altered. And you've probably been uh, hearing about how when you look in the Greek about the last days, there's some things that are a little bit different. So I'll just get kind of get right into it. When you're reading in Revelation, it, talk, it talks about the, uh, the merchants and the mighty men of those days and being the end of times are going to deceive many with their sorcery. Well, again, when you look up sorcery in the Greek, it's again, I'm sure you already know, but it's where we actually, the translation is pharmakia and pharmakia is where we get the word pharmacy or pharmaceutical or medication from. Well, that's very interesting that in the last days, the merchants and you know who I'm talking about, are going to deceive many with pharmacia or with medication. That is extremely interesting. So when you start, when you start diving down into this, and I, I did some research on this, it is well known that, there is a, uh, that, that what they're trying to give you is an RNA modifier. So it's actually to change your DNA. It is not what you think it is. But it's actually to change your DNA, and so when you when you look at it, when you look at the uh, and again, I, I didn't do much research into this because I was most more focused on sending the message about the warning. But this is a warning message. 
that when you look at the makeup of what they're giving you, it's got an RNA modifier in it, and that modifier's got a carrier, and that carrier is what they call a, a nano, a magnetic nanoparticle. And what that does is they actually can attach whatever sequence they want to onto that, and so when it enters into your body, it actually attaches inside of your body, and no kidding, uh, I, I checked this out, that at any time, it could be actually stimulated by uh, high-frequency microwave radiation or high-frequency uh, microwaves. Is that part of 5G stuff? Don't know. All I'm saying is what it says, literally, when you do research on this stuff. Oh, and by the way, this magnetic nanoparticle carrier that they get the, the RNA modifier in, it's actually named Lucifer. No kidding. No kidding. It's called Lucifer. So I study why this was all mentioned and why they went down this road. And lo and behold, because uh, this type of material they're putting in your body will actually glow. It actually uh, emits light. So I'm here to ask you. If you accept the light of Lucifer, will you lose the light of Jesus Christ? When you accept the light of the enemy, will you lose the light of your Savior? You know, it goes further. So when you are actually, um, and again, I, I, didn't, I never did much study into these sort of things. I did more study into uh, the end times, uh, biblical eschatology, but... I believe this falls right along in lines with it. So it says that we must have endurance and wisdom and calculate the number of the beast. And you know what that number is. So when you actually do research into that number, the root of that number, no kidding, this is, this is no kidding, the root of that number is actually to prick, to stick, or to puncture. So when you calculate the number of the beast, it says this, this takes wisdom. The, the root of that number is to prick, to stick, or to puncture. So when you start looking at this, it says in the last days that the merchants are going to deceive many with a medication. And that medication is called Lucifer. And the way they're going to give it to you is to puncture you, to stick you, or to inject you. Now I'm here to tell you that I cannot be dogmatic and, and fully say that unequivocally what we're seeing going on right now, what many believers have taken, is in fact the mark. I'm leaning that way. I've been saying it for a while. You can't be dogmatic and just say, no, 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 it's not, it's not, it's got to wait three years. Listen. Look at the facts, study scripture, and see what it's telling you. They're already making it to where people cannot do things without having this. You've got to operate in wisdom. Now, can other things follow? Well, of course they can. Can other technologies come? I believe they will. What I'm trying to tell you is what it says in scripture, when you read it in the Greek, that the merchants... In those days are going to deceive many with medication with a pharmaceutical or a pharmacy type item and when you look into that item which they're giving you and they fully admit what it is they fully admit this is an RNA modifier which is which is actually tasked to change your DNA so you don't get sick no kidding, the name of that thing is actually Lucifer. And they're going to do it when you nail down the root of the number 666. Is to prick, to stick, or to puncture. I can't make this stuff up. This is within the Word of God. If you have eyes to see, if you have ears to hear, Jesus Christ says that my sheep 
hear my voice? Are you listening to Jesus Christ? Or are you listening to the world? Are you listening to the merchants and the mighty men of this world? Or are you continuously pursuing Jesus Christ? As again, because in the Greek, as the scripture was, as you know, the New Testament, we'll just go on that side, it was originally wrote in the Greek. At least in most of it was. When you study this, when it says to trust and believe, for those who like in John 3, 16, to trust and believe, well, belief, I've said this many times, when it was first penned, belief had a different meaning than it does today. Because belief today, you can believe in something and have absolutely no commitment to it at all. Zero. But when that was penned, when you believed in something, that means you were committed to it. You were fully committed to it. You were, you were all in continuously. So in the Greek, when anytime you see belief, it means you are continuously committed to it. You don't believe in it, and then the next day you just kind of, oh yeah, whatever, and you just go on with your life. No. We are called to be light. The light of the world. We're supposed to let our light shine. The light of Jesus Christ shine through us. So again, I must ask, if you accept and take the light of Lucifer, because Lucifer is translated bearer of light. See, everything the enemy does is to try to mimic. It's a counterfeit of the truth. Everything he does is a lie after a lie after a lie. Because it says in Scripture that he is a father of lies. Do you embrace the lie? You know, I've said this many times. And please tell people this when they're arguing with you about this. It is easier to lie to somebody than it is to convince them that they've been lied to. Again, it is easier to lie to somebody than to convince them that they've been lied to. And trust me, the world has been lied to, especially in these last days, because the enemy knows his time is short. So he is, he is going, he's going all in. He's going all in with this, and you must operate in wisdom. We cannot, we cannot give in even a millimeter. You, your eternity, your family, your children. Come on, guys. Don't buy in to the bill of goods that the merchants are trying to sell you. If you exchange the light of your Savior for the light of the enemy, do you think, do you think Jesus is going to be happy with you? Maybe I guess that's just the bottom line. We are to operate in wisdom. The merchants of this world are going to fool people with a medication named Lucifer. And the way they're going to do that is to prick you, to stick you, or to puncture you. That's exactly what the scripture tells us. Listen, I don't know what to say if you've already taken this. I, I just don't know what to say. Again, I cannot say that this is not the mark. And there might be st more stuff coming. But you can't say that it isn't either. You can't just go down that road and say, oh, it's not it. We must operate in wisdom. If you have taken it, I say you get on your knees and beg for forgiveness. That's all I, 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 I don't know what else to tell you. I refuse to ever take this. They will have to, they're going to have to kill me first. That's all I have to say. And people are just getting in line. There's churches, church. If you're a pastor telling your people to get this, you need to stop right now. If you're a pastor telling your congregation to take this, you need to stop and beg for forgiveness. There's everything is sinister about this. There's been nothing right about this. There's been nothing good about this. This has been a bold-faced life from the very beginning. Operate in wisdom, please, today. Our time is short. Jesus is on the horizon. He's coming to take those who truly love him, truly follow him, truly want to see him. Have a blessed day, guys. I love you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.